Exactly. You know, in, before I was a Muslim, I used to listen to a track and he used to say, blame it on the uh, uh, alcohol. And I think that's what you're doing the alcohol. Uh, blame it on the alcohol. Well, as, they, as they say in Rus, yes. yeah. No, the all that happened was he misconstrued his yeah. arguments, he didn't get them okay, correct. Right, yeah. right, what right, was your argument? Yeah. My good. argument was hmm. from the argument from contingency. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, now, can I ask you a question? Let me just, just go and clarify a few things. Yeah, okay. I don't really deal with uh, philosophy. Um, not too much. Like I don't really. I, I even discourage some people to. However, the contingency argument, I use it in the form of even team you use. It, yes. So I do it to affirm God Almighty, and then I, I then use it to affirm His attributes. Yeah. So my argument is an argument from contingency. Do you know it? Do you want to yes, break it down? Please. Okay. So it's very simple. Yeah. We have three kinds of possibilities. Mm -hmm. We have possible existence. We have necessary existence, and we have impossible existence. Okay. The impossible existence is that you have a triangle square or a triangle circle. Do we accept that that's an impossibility? Yes. Okay, so we are left with two possibles. Okay. Which is um, contingent uh, possibility and necessary, mm -hmm. uh, necessary uh, um, existence. Yeah. Okay. So those two are the uh, the, the area that I'm going to focus on. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you accept that there are contingent things within our universe? Okay. No. Before we start this. Okay. Where do you think contingency comes from? The idea. Where do you think? Because it didn't come out of nowhere. Yes. Where do you think the idea of so, contingency came okay, from? Okay, so when you say the idea of contingency, obviously I think people use their logic and rationality okay. to come to certain conclusions. For example, that we have things within our universe that is dependent. Okay. So therefore, if there are things that are dependent, we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things, which is my second argument. Yeah. That if there are dependent things, do we accept that there is dependent things? I don't. Because where does the dependency come from? Okay, uh, so, the same place where okay, contingency right. comes. I'm, okay. trying, I'm just trying to dig into okay, where it comes so, from. So, so you do not believe that there are dependent things within our universe? What is dependency? Okay, where the, where does the need for dependency okay, come from? Something that relies on something else for its own existence. Yes. So it sounds you, eerily like 14th century arguments proposed by Baruch Spinoza, that's, that's, which that's, were over 600 years ago. That's fine. Yep, yep. Whoever, whoever, whoever brought the argument, that we are dealing with the argument, not who brought it. No, no. So very simply, do you accept that for your existence you require other things? Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with... So you're dependent? I'm dependent in the physical sense, not in the moral sense. No, but what you're proposing is the moral sense. No, no, I'm not. Yes, I'm not. because contingency is inherently a moral argument. No, 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 I'm using an argument yeah. from contingency to prove that there's a yeah. higher power, which is the necessary being yeah. that gave rise to us. So I'm not using it from the moral sense. What I'm saying is, do you accept that you are dependent on other factors to your survival? Yes. No, yeah, I mean, it's a okay. cosmological okay. So argument. So you're essentially saying that there is a chain of dependency. So you rely on other attributes, and that makes you a dependent being. You depend on other things for your continued existence and this chain of dependency will last forever unless there is a necessary being at some point it has to change and, it and that be being is God. God. Yes, but this is my issue with the argument so a necessary being how do we define this as a thing that does not depend on any other attributes but God okay well but it, I'm saying that there does not rely on any other things to depend on for its continued existence. A necessary being is not dependent, it's not contingent on anything else. It's, it's the opposite so, of contingent. Yes, it's necessary. So it's it does, necessary, it's still sufficient, yes. and it cannot be any other way. Okay, but, but why? Thing, and, Where and it's not, not composed yeah, okay. of pieces. Okay. So, and this is my thing, but surely God is composed of pieces. No. He has certain attributes. No. Yes. All loving, all caring. If you would like to believe in such a deity, well, then you yeah. need to accept that God does depend on certain attributes and can be when, 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 has, when, but when has his attributes became other than himself? This is where I'm talking about the contingent argument that you're using and what I'm using. I'm making it very clear. Before we even come to that, yeah, I believe his attributes are an essence. It's his essence. It's, it's himself. I don't divide it and go, the most merciful. Oh, we have another necessary being. I don't say that at all. You've said that. So just to make yes. something clear before we come to that, do you accept there are, like we said, there are dependent things within our universe? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, do you accept that we can have an infinite regress of dependent things? I would accept that. The yeah. issue, the if issue. If that's the case, okay, who but am I talking why to? couldn't the universe simply be? This is the virtual Russell's argument, which I think is fantastic. Yes, it's, it's called it, it, a brute fact. Exactly, brute but, but, fact. But, but, but the just, simply is. But that's just running away from the problem. But what you're saying not, is, it's not it, because if I, if I why said, does it need a cause? Why okay. does the universe need a cause? Okay. Where, where does the okay. idea of dependency come from? Okay, one second. If I said God exists and that is a brute fact and it is, you will laugh at me. You say to me, no, there's, what no evidence. Evidence? there's no evidence. No, there is evidence. What I'm saying is, what you're proposing to me is 
the universe just is, it's a brute fact, close the chapter. No, and no, like, no, that's not what I said. Well, well, the, the reason we'll I would say that okay. is because of Occam's razor. You want to no, no, no. go for the simplest explanation with the least assumptions. Mm -hmm. And God I, is an assumption to explain the not, universe. It's not an assumption. But where does God come from? Okay, this is what I'm saying. Okay, this you, is my argument. So let me repeat again. There are dependent things within our universe. There cannot be an infinite regress of dependent things. Therefore, we require a necessary being who is self-sufficient, who is not composed of pieces, and cannot be any other way to give rise to the dependent things within our universe. Yep. Now, do you accept, is the universe dependent or independent? Independent. Independent. Now what you've done, which is good, which is something that we agree on, you accept a independent being, but you've as ascribed it, no, okay, you accept independence, you've ascribed it to the universe. So we are on the same page now. What we say is this, that's good. Now you've accepted the necessary thing, all you've done is, you've said it's not God, it's the universe. Now, is the universe, I'm asking a question, is the universe composed of pieces? Yes. Then it cannot be necessary. It is dependent. Yes, no, okay, but this is the, the, the wait, 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 wait. These, these are all the, these are all the assumptions. That's the fallacy of composition. But these, these are all assumptions. But but these are, this is an assumption. God depends on different attributes. But the universe so, is... Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, you, what well, your argument actually has the fallacy of composition. Because you said, look, the universe no, no, no. is composed of pieces. All of these yeah. pieces have causes. Therefore, the yeah. universe must have a cause. No, no, but that, you're looking at the parts to make an assertion about the whole. But even if you're talking about the fallacy of composition, you're saying that because the wall is made of small pieces, doesn't mean the wall is small. But what if the wall is red? So I'm not even using an argument from composition because that's an argument from um, uh, Kalam cosmological argument. Mm -hmm. I'm using an argument from contingency. I don't say nothing about composition. I'm saying again, I repeat, you said the universe is necessary. I said, well, that's good because now we agree that we require necessary no, being. No, uh, this all you've done is you've ascribed it to the universe. All, all I said, one second, I said, is the universe composed of pieces? You said yes. If it's composed of pieces, it cannot be necessary. If it's not necessary, it is dependent. If it is dependent, the problem is the problem. Is, the problem. Is, if it is dependent, what is it dependent on? Did you understand? Yes, I get that completely. But the problem is, is that all of these assertions are inherently grounded in an understanding of the world that is inherently Islamic and is inherently religious. No, it's it's religious. Islam. No, no, no. But yes, Islam. yes. But where your arguments come from historically, actually, where I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you exactly where they come from. <laughs> Ibn Sina, they come. He, Ibn Sina. Where, how old? When was Ibn Sina alive? In the Islamic Golden Age, yes, the Islamic yes, Golden yes. Age, 800 eight years ago, yes. 900 years ago, yeah, even, time has come. Yes, yes, but listen, 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 listen. Yeah. Time has come. This humanity has gone through a phase of development throughout yeah. time. These arguments that you're telling me now are arguments that, um, you know, like lo logic, lo lo like people that pro were professionals in logic. Lo logistics. Yeah, logistics. Yeah, and they, they proposed them because they didn't they didn't have scientific understandings to explain the world. So they needed to explain the world, which suited. The Christian, the religious, the Islamic, the Jew, 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 like, Judaism, the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 their inter interpretation of the world, and, and that logic was empro employed okay. with that purpose because there was no other, there was no but, science was shunned, okay, and I, science I, I, was shunned, let, and see, logic let, was the only answer. And this fine, is exactly what fine. you're telling let's, me. Let's say I go with that. Yeah. How does that dispute my argument? Because, because ultimately, it's, it's, it, it exists in a framework that has now we now have a better explanation. So what's the better explanation? Uh, so, science. So, 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 so no, 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 no. So, so for example, the universe is composed of space and time yes. and if I if I cause this brothel to drop yes. it, there's space in which it drops and okay. the time from when I yep. put my yep. hand on yep. and it falls this is the universe outside the universe this idea of cause and effect and something having to come into existence we don't even know how time, the universe functions our, our you rational see the, the, framework yeah. collapses outside this, this you reality, see the, the, the logic, which, yeah, yeah. which is ultimately bound up in the universe. So this is a great mystery. Yeah, but, why but, but the logical I, assumptions I'm that you're employing, because I think it, it, the the mystery, and I accept that re rational, uh, my rational faculties cannot comprehend the reality outside the one we're yeah, immediately right. observing. And I and I think and I think to say the universe it depends on something. Yes, it def depends on it. It's the uh, it, yes. It so, does. So it, it, it does. Okay, okay, it it doesn't second, necessarily. How does that disprove my argument? Yeah, well, because it, you're saying. So you give me a history lesson. Yeah. You've told me about the, uh -huh. the recent scientific study. That's understandable. How does that disprove my argument? Uh, because oh, because it's that's inherently that's archaic. Okay. No, it's okay. genetic. That's, that's a genetic fallacy. That's a. You've advanced your you're just saying it's a genetic fallacy. You just say it comes um, from this guy and therefore it must be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not, not, not yeah. there, but it's not there. So, so, so this is a very important point I need okay. to ask you. Okay, so you're saying that the universe is uh, dependent, it's a contingent um, entity, yes. Yes. because it depends on lots of things within it. 
Do you, do you accept that he said the universe is independent? Do you accept that? I'm uh, independence of what? No, 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 no. Time, just, it's just independent. It's independent. Well, in what do you, do you accept, No, it's just My, independent. It's self-sufficient. Do you accept that? It not, does not rely on anything for yeah, its yes, continued yes, existence. Yes. I, I do, yeah. Okay, good. So you do and you do. Do you? Uh, yes, I would say okay, the universe so you, simply you're, you're, is. You guys, uh, it's independent. The great honourable gentlemen here are all in sync. You all yes, believe that. All the question all. I'm asking is the following. Listen carefully. If the universe is independent, means it is necessary. Firstly, that means we both accept that we require a necessary being. Where does necessity one, come from? No, one, one second, one second. The fact that there is dependent things, it requires something that's necessary to give rise to it. Now, I'm asking you a question. Is the universe composed of pieces? Or can the universe be any other way? But how universe, do we know that? Can, okay, for example, wait, wait. we have galaxies right. within our universe. If there were four less galaxies, is that still the same universe? No. Okay, so but there are probably galaxies second. blowing up and destroying That's our lives. Right. But that means the universe can be any other way, and the universe is composed of pieces. That means it cannot be necessary. It is dependent. Now listen carefully. If it is dependent, what does it depend on? I'm saying it's not you've dependent. You've made a jump. You've, you've made, made an jump. assumption. You've made, you've made these jumps because you, and what you're saying is you're looking at the pieces and you're saying, look, they have cause and effect. I never said cause and effect. I but, never mentioned cause and effect. But you're you're dependent. dependent. You're, you're saying, saying, you're you're saying, saying it belongs to it. You're giving me. It belongs to a chain, an unbroken chain of sorry, dependent. I didn't say cause and effect. Forgive me. Your exact words were it's dependent on something else. It relies on something else. For example, let me give you an example. Yeah. So let me give you an example. Yeah. Okay. A a mother can give birth to the child. It caused the child, but the child doesn't necessarily depend on the mother for its survival. Yeah. Yes. So know the difference. I'm not using the Kalam cosmological argument. I'm using the argument from contingency. Yes, yes. So I'm repeating it again. You guys said, I said, what did we say in the beginning? Necessary and contingent. We got rid of the impossible existence. So now what you guys said is the universe is independent and necessary. I said, okay, let's go with that. However, you're saying that I'm jumping the gun. How am I when I'm saying you guys said the, the universe is independent? And I don't. Necessary. I never said necessary. I, I, listen, I, no, necessity. It, okay. Necessity. Necessity okay. is two different okay, things. Okay. Okay. No problem. If yeah. it's independent, yeah. Then I said to you, one of my arguments was what? If it can be any other way, and if it's composed of pieces, it cannot be independent. It is dependent. If it's dependent, what is uh, what do it the pieces have to do? On? Listen to me carefully. Yeah. What is it dependent on? It's a simple question. No. This is this is my answer. That. The inherently it being composed of pieces, you know, how do you visualize pieces? How do you, village, how look, do you look, visualize? Look, look, look. No, 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 I'm asking so, you a question. How do you visualize it? Of, like said, yes, piece, exactly. But what example, are pieces in the universe sense? Look, for example, look, we are a piece of the universe. Yes, yeah, we are. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if I cease to exist, yeah. okay, that means the universe can be any other way. I don't need to, that can be any yeah, other way. Exactly. So, therefore, it shows its dependency. No, because what it does show is that we have a certain logic in, hu in humanity. We have, yeah. we have a certain, a certain logic on Earth, yeah. and certain things work differently than, than they do I, in I, the universe. I don't have a problem with that. Well, no, 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 but, that, but, that's, question, but, but, that, but it's two well, different that's frameworks. Listen, listen, yes, guys, yes, guys, yes. Guys, guys, it's very simple. You've accepted an independent thing, and it's called it the universe. I'm saying, okay, I'm with you guys. I'm on your team. But I'm saying the universe can be any other way. We said yes. Uh, we said, can, is it composed of pieces? We said yes. yes. That is not my definition of an independent being. Right. So what I'm saying is, how can it be independent and necessary when you have given the attributes of a dependent thing? No, Simple. what I'm saying, what I'm saying, saying in, this, it's, it needs to be necessary to prevent this cause, this no, regression. No, 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 no. If it's necessary, it's, it's necessary, then it doesn't look. If it's, it's necessary, it's, then why is it composed of pieces? Why is it the very idea of necessity is a moral one? Moral morality, wait, morality like, brings about like, necessity. Not, no, 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 yes, yes, but, but what is necessity? I mean, that's a, that's a question I started our debate with. What I is necessity? I told you something that okay, necessary. But, yeah. that's listen, necessary. Self-sufficient yeah. cannot be any other way, and it's not composed of pieces. Okay. That, look, that's but, my definition of so a necessary being. Why can't the universe, being. The universe be self-sufficient? Thank you, but that's what I'm saying. Thank yes. you. I'm saying it cannot be self-sufficient because of the following: it is composed of pieces. Number one. But why does it that make? Be, why does that rule this out? Because it shows that it's dependent. It can but be it any other way. Because you're only looking friend, at the pieces. It's a fallacy. Is there galaxies within our universe? Yes. Yes. If we have five less galaxies, yeah. What happens? No, same. It's well, a different universe. No, not really, oh, though, because it, galaxies blow up it, and explode. Still, still, still. Okay. Okay, energy. okay, okay. I, I, have, I have your, your argument. Look, I understand. Energy, yeah, but the energy doesn't change. But how does that accommodate universe? the fact what's that the universe is expanding? What's the second law of thermodynamics? Uh, there's no uh, D equals M no. squared. No, no, no. Sorry, the energy, energy can't, can't be destroyed or destroyed. Okay, okay. Or, or, or the universe is, uh, goes towards. Okay, for, uh, energy cannot be created energy. or destroyed in a closed system. Yes, it can't yes? be created or destroyed. Okay. But now, it's an open system. Okay, no, no, no. What I'm saying is this, yeah? Is there a set amount of energy within our universe? No, it's expanding. This is my point. I'm not, I'm not but, sure. But at one point, if you reverse it, that's where the Big Bang theory comes from. If you reverse it, they go to a singular point. 
if there is a set amount of energy within our universe, it is dependent on something else. If you hit, if, but there isn't. It's now being proved. Is it infinite? I infinite because the Wait, universe no, is expanding. No, 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 no. You said infinite. Can you prove infinite? To me? The universe is expanding. No, in, no expanding, but expanding. Is not infinite. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Expansion. Infinite, concepts, infinite cannot, look, infinite cannot go up or down. If I say I have an infinite amount of biryanis and I eat two biryanis, how many biryanis do I have? Still infinite. No. It's infinite minus two, which is an impossibility. There is no such thing. The concept of infinity doesn't exist in the real world. Yes. There is potential infinite, the, but again, yes. infinite. So now, if you're saying infinite, it's my point. Infinite, it doesn't exist in our world. Okay, no, no, no it could exist. And this is, our world is the only world I'm talking about, yeah? In our universe. If there is no infinite, then that shows that it is finite. If it's finite, it requires something else of its outside itself for its existence, which shows its dependency. Yes, yes, yeah, I understand exactly. I understand exactly. But so that logic, that logic is very good. That logic is no, no, no. That logic is very good when it's applied to Earth. I'm saying the logical scaffolding you're using to craft your argument exists. It's you're right, but within the universe, within time and space, and this idea of dependency and cause outside. I'm talking about cause. Yes, but. Okay, yes, dependency. But outside this logical framework, these concepts simply do, they just simply collapse. Uh, all I'm saying, no, 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 listen. Ali, he at least said, he at least said. Can I tell you my view? Can I tell you my view? So, the way I perceive. Before that, you did accept that it's a good. No, no, but all I want to say is my view. Yeah, all I want to say is my view that. Where, the, where do the ideas of necessity, all of this contingency, where they come from? They come from, they come from an, a need to unify a people. Where did, where does Islam come from? Where did, where did uh, Christianity come from? Where did Judaism come from? It came from the idea of repressed tribes, repressed people within a, within a former, within a bigger empire that needed something to stand behind. Needed so something. Can, yes, yes, yes. No, I'm just telling you my view, okay. and that, from which these your other views come from. Because yeah. Then, then you come to the point where, okay, let's say you're, you know, 1500 years ago yeah. when Muhammad, you know, when Muhammad came, came about yeah. and he, 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 like, he, he, like, you know, unite, united the, uh, the Arab people, united these tribes and created this huge Islamic empire, yeah. destroyed two empires while doing it yes. and created this force, which, empires, which, they were trying to destroy them, yeah. yeah, yeah, but the, 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 he destroyed them. But then, yeah, but as a, yes, him. yes, but as a coherent entity, yeah. yeah, he came in and destroyed them, yeah. So that's the point. But how else do you unify a people? How do you unify a people? No, no, I understand, but you, yes, I'm but always, then, but then you get to the question. Go, go. Okay, use Islam. No, Islam no, no, is there? I'm not even talking about no, Islam. No, 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 no. I didn't mention Islam. Yes, either. I'm not. I'm not. This, I'm telling you my but, but, my perspective on where your views okay. come from. Yeah. So that, and then you come to the situation where you don't have the science to describe to explain the universe. You don't have you don't have a way. You don't have a physical, technological way of understanding what the universe is. What do you employ? You employ logic that is in, inherently grounded to our perception of the world within planet Earth. That's without fine. understanding what's going out no, out there. That's fine. You use uniformity, regularity, and certain things to do science. Necessity. My friend, look, your friend, I, my I, friend, necessity. No, 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 that's fine. But you've got you've given me a kind of a history lesson slash moral. I'm not even talking about that yet. I know this pen. Well, this you wake up and this pen explodes. Have you ever seen like no? No, I mean, because it's, it's this uniformity and this regularity, yes. Okay. So we know we can do science. If that didn't happen, we can never do science. That's when we look at quantum mechanics and we talk about the double slit uh, experiment. Yeah, there are things that happen in which we're like, whoa, that, that you know that doesn't make sense to us. So we use our rationality, irregularity, uniformity to do science. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you guys an argument. Yeah. That's inherently moral. No, no, no. Jesus. Look, I'm not using a moral no. argument. Yes, it's going to be inherently moral, but I'm saying that. Very simply, I've made an argument. You guys haven't given me anything um, to disprove. I just uh, want to like, come and say to you, you know what, Ali? The universe is necessary uh, and independent because of A, B, and C. Ali, I don't know where we're doing. What's, no. what your, what's, the, what's the ultimate oh, issue? Say, you're saying that the universe we, 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 needs something. A necessary to being okay, right, that perfect. gave rise to it. Yeah. Then I can come and talk to you about its attributes. And, and, you're, and you're defining a necessary being yes. as something that doesn't isn't composed of parts. But he says, again, he says, again. And it cannot be any other way. Yes. Yeah. And is independent. Independent, okay. self-sufficient. Self yeah. self no, I get that. But where, where does I'm saying, I'm saying that under these your terms and your definition and the, the definitional structure yeah. that we're using to construct the arguments on, yeah. under the definitions that we have agreed, mm -hmm. you you are um, accurate in your assertion that the universe is composed of parts. Yeah. But I, I, what Alexi is 
saying is that this argument is archaic and does not reflect the reality that the universe could have been, um, could have been, is not necessary, not necessarily because, necessary. No, because necessity, not, this is my point. I'm, I'm saying, I, no, this is my point, the necessity is a construction. The, yeah, sorry, yeah, the, the, uni the universe isn't um, contingent doesn't necessarily have to be contingent on something else. No, it has like to. God. That's why I gave you my evidence. I'm saying under no, your no, definition, no. yes, that's true. So you accept it? I'm saying under the definition that we have agreed upon. No, 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 this is not the no, 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 this is not the ultimate no, no, point. No, no, because yes, the universe is composed of certain attributes. No, 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 this no. is this is true. So it immediately oh, prevents it from being a necessary being. If we're going to disagree, then we have to disagree on the definition. But I'm saying that this definition is also Ultimately irrelevant because the universe could re could conceivably have been caused from nothing and it could but not cause no, I'm not talking about nothing, causation, yes. From nothing. Where does the idea of necessity because come from? Just like I just my first question to you. Bottle. You no, need that time and nothing. space in time which space you need nothing. stuff to you occur. Said, did you say that the universe can be composed from nothing? I'm, no, I'm um, not composed of nothing. I, I'm saying that I simply No, you said it can be. I'm saying under the logical framework. That's illogical. I'm saying under our I'm saying under a logical framework that, that we use to um, comprehend our perceptions yes. of the natural world, yes. then it seems inconceivable that something can come out of nothing. Exactly. But this this is still, it's not an impossibility. That is, it you is. listed this, the three yes, different is. things, yeah. but this is not an impossibility. It is. Because outside of the, our logical framework, outside of the universe, it, it could be conceivable no, it what that the, pro about? the process by which chemical reactions take place could be totally different. No, Ali, really. that's fine. This is, this, you... this is, I think no, this I is more likely than positing a deity, and this is where we ultimately Why? disagree you, you, you on, the probab on, the exactly. on the matter what, of probability now. On the matter of probability. Listen to me carefully, yeah? I use the argument from contingency. Uh -huh. To now you guys have not touched upon number one. Now you are asserting that, look at this, can it be God? No way. Can it be nothing? Maybe. That is preposterous. No. Let, me tell, let me finish, I'll listen to you, let me finish. What is nothing? The absence of something. Mm -hmm. If I go to my math teacher and say zero can equal one, he'll give me a backhand and make me fly back to the class uh, into the classroom. Of course. You are now asserting the most preposterous position, which is it can come from nothing. Can it be God? No way. Can it be nothing? Maybe he has yes. Some support from scholarship. Exactly. No. Support that well, I, I, nothing, all uh, I would, I would, I'd simply ask you the you? same question about the necessary being. I your, did. Your, I did. You're positing. Where did that come from? Okay. Good. As well? Good. 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 So good. 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 Okay. Let's stop now. Let's stop now. First, what did we do? We agreed that a, you ascribe the necessary being to the universe. We showed you guys that the universe is composed by pieces. Can can be another, any other way. So we realized that it's dependent. Then we said, what is it dependent on? A necessary being that is independent. And then it is not composed of pieces mm -hmm. and it cannot oh, be any other way. Now, I, that is my, my argument and you guys haven't said anything. Yeah. Now, that do you accept that it, now it a necessary being is required that the universe for the universe to... Let, let me ask you a question first. You, wait, you, wait, you, wait, you, wait, you, wait, no, no, no. Because you have, you have not answered my first question that I... No, no, no. Let me ask you a question that I began this debate with. What is... Okay, no, no, no. Your definition of necessity... Your definition of necessity yes. is very carefully crafted according to your interpretation. No, yes. according to your own interp interpretation of the world. Yes. But what, if you look at what is necessity, why do humans need something ne ne like necessary? Where does it really come from? No, no, it's not about where it comes from. Yes, it does. I, I have formulated an argument yeah, you that have. you guys till now, I think no. it's been about 15, once it, let me finish, it's been about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. I have not heard. No, because one, you're not answering my question. I have not heard one counter argument towards I can give you, you one. Gave, you gave me an example about the Islamic history. Mm -hmm. You said to me about nothing. I can give you one. You said something they had to go at you. you. Yeah. 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 No, I honestly, I do. Because Stop your Stop argument seems to be the universe. Guys, I'll answer the question again. Here's my, please tell me. Okay. You guys said the universe is independent. Yeah. Good. Then I said the universe cannot be independent because Why? it is composed of pieces and yes, it cannot be yes, any other yes. way. This is my problem. One second, let me finish, guys. Let me finish. Then we acknowledge that the universe is actually dependent, not independent. But I reject your definition of independent. Baba, one second. Then I said, then what is the universe dependent on? 
And you guys haven't given me an answer. No, because I'm, this is my point. I'm that, no, no, what but is the universe dependent No, because I listen, the, the point is dependency. Dependent dependency is, is a moral no. argument. Like I, I said at the beginning. What was my definition at the beginning? Yes, your definition. But your de I don't agree that with that definition. Yes. Yes. yes, but that's your yeah. definition, Ali. That's your definition, Ali. That's yes, yes. No, no, no. I'm telling you. I'm asking you a question. No, no. This is this is the point. Do you respect? So if it disagrees, I don't care. No, no, no. Ali, 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 Ali. My point is. My point is necessity. The idea of necessity, I disagree upon that. Because that is no. absolutely because necessity is inherently a moral trait. Don't care. Yes, no, it's yes. Irrelevant. No, Why do it's you not irrelevant. Because Tell me what's no. wrong with it necessary. N n necessity, it comes out of humanity's no um, Yes, yes. Do no, no, listen, it? listen, listen. Let me talk. Necessity yeah. comes out of humanity's need to understand, to understand itself. It doesn't this idea that you connect parts and pieces of parts to necessity that has nothing to do with it. The universe can be the any way it can be. The universe is not connected to human logic. It's not connected to necessity. No, it's not connected. These are two different things. That's my point. The, the science not use regularity and uniformity to, to do yes, its studies. Of course it does. So now hold on a second. Uh, uh, Me, uniformity second. and regularity have got nothing to do with no, pieces no, no, in the no, universe. In order for you to do studies, you need to know that when I use a pen for an experiment, it doesn't bloody explode. Yes. There's uniformity yes, and regularity. Yes, yes, there Otherwise, is. Otherwise, you can never do science. But not you never know one that second. in the Okay. No, one second. We use our logic and certain laws that are in place to make to do science. I'm giving you guys a logical argument and you're here telling me, uh, no, we reject your definition. On what basis? Oh, we just do. No, I didn't say that. No, I said it on a very good okay. basis. On a moral Can basis, I reject your me, argument. Ask, answer my question. Yeah. What does the universe depend on? Nothing. Because okay. the universe, you don't I need mean, a dependency. Just, okay. What I'm really disputing okay. here, can we just shove a very important thing? Shove a very important thing. 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 You said, you said, you said, you said, you said the universe doesn't depend on anything. Yeah. And you are the same person who said the universe is independent. Yeah. yeah. But what is your what definition of independence? Listen to me. What's your name? Alexei. What Alexei. is your definition of independence, Alexei, my friend? listen to me. Yeah, Alexei. If he was Alexis, I would say, Alexis, listen, yeah? Look. Listen to me. You're saying the universe is independent. Now that I've proved it's independent, okay, you're but saying, how, what's how, what's how, what's how, please hear me up. Okay, please. okay. Let's listen to learn, not listen to reply. You said the universe is independent. I proved that it's depend dependent. Now when I say what's dependent on you, you've got nothing. But you didn't prove it. Was, you how did so? you prove You proved it was dependent according to your understanding of what dependency yes, is, which I'm telling you is inherently immoral and it comes out of your b religious you beliefs. Is the universe composed of pieces? That yes. does not define it. Yes, it is. Okay, can it be any other way? Can it it probably can. Yes, okay, that's dependent. How is that dependent though? What's no, that dependent on? What's it dependent what on? Yeah, but what is it dependent I'll on, my friend? Talk. I've, I've done my okay, I've done no, no, I, exactly. This is good. This is good. You've talked, so now we can talk properly. The, the, uh, the idea is dependent on is inherently moral and it's based in humanity's wanting to understand something that it can't perceive. How do we perceive the universe? You talk about galaxies. Oh, you talk about huh? Yes, but what is necessity? But what is necessity? Thing is by this, can we just make this point? By the same standard, so you're saying the universe. Strobel, yes, you even exactly. said it can come from nothing. And for I'm, God's sake, saying, I'm you even I would said, ask you the same Strobel, question about positing a deity, Strobel, Strobel, which you me haven't me answered Strobel, yet. You said to me, why is that unreasonable when it comes to a deity? Why the universe? You even said it can come from nothing. I've got some. Necessary deity, you're saying that can come no, 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 from nothing. Yes, but what is necessity, I've, my I've, friend? I've, I've given my definitions. I've given my defi definitions for a contingent thing. I've given my defi definition for necessary being. Okay. You have not answered okay, me this. Okay, this is the point. We want to avoid problem, it. We the want to avoid it. Okay, yes, okay, yes, the, the ball is in our court. We want to avoid it. You you want to avoid it. It's this a moral argument? Wait, because this is, this is my point. Where does where does okay, avoid? Okay, no, 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 no. I want to that. I want to look. I want to. I'm giving my final point. closing statement. Okay. You do it, and we want to move on with the brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've answered a simple question. My argument was very simple. Yeah. Okay. There are dependent things within our universe. There is and there is independent things. Yeah. Okay. So I said dependency is something that can be any other way. It's composed of pieces and requires something else for its own existence. Yes. Then my dear friend said. That I said, is the universe dependent or independent? He says independent. Then I said to him, it cannot be independent because it's composed of pieces <coughs> and it can be any other way. So we acknowledge that it's dependent. No, and I asked no, him, no, 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 no,
the atheists are terrified mm. to say sorry, we just have to it can be God. He's, it can be nothing. It can be like anything. It can be internet, but it cannot be God. Like, That's my closing it. statement. You guys make a decision. Okay, okay. 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 May, I, I, may I say? May I say? May I say? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. We're going to carry on. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a matter of probability. One on one hand, the universe comes from nothing, but you still have. Where does this necessary go? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Closing statement. Closing statement. Yes, we have about to finish. And I would say this last thing. I would say this last thing. You know, that's thing. what Allah says in the Quran. There has to be one God. Otherwise, there will be chaos. Okay, well, there's one. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. My, my statement, my response to Ali is that necessity is an inherently, it's a moral construction. Because where does the idea of necessity come from? Where does it? Where do you really like when when you wake up every day? When you when you think about God, why, why do you think about God? Why do you? Because you believe it's necessary to your own existence. That what what Ali's done is now in, is now zoomed out and imposed that on the whole universe, and then put his own definition of what dependency is, which I don't agree with. I don't think dependency consists of God. I think dependency is one of what one of the things which you listed, which is the third thing, which is it has to depend upon something, which is what he said. That is the one thing I, I agree with. This is why I said it's not dependent, it's independent. It's got nothing to do with our understanding of logic, with our understanding of mor morality, with our understanding of necessity, because we're using our values, we're using our understanding of how to live our lives and imposing that upon a si system that's inherently can only be understood through science, through physics, through these, in, through these subjects which have nothing to do with necessity. The Big Bang, the right. Big Bang has nothing to do with necessity. He was, he was, he was. I just want to make a closing statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrap this up and then you guys come. I believe yeah. that the, the argument that the universe so you brought out here the whole team is here then, I guess. Come from the fact. Well, I just, I just told to meet my mates yeah. well, I don't know. This I don't is, is dependent on something else. Therefore, the Philosophy. entire universe must oh, right. be dependent on something else. Which is the fallacy of composition. Are you, are you friends? It's a fallacious right. argument, yeah, which yeah. I reject. You, which I, I didn't use by I must have misunderstood no, your no, argument. I did not use that. No, no. Alan Dunn, it hurts the logical argument. Dependency. Forgive me. We will have to. Guys, close the statement quickly. Close the statement. You finished? That was it. Yes. That's it, guys. Ali, thank you. Thank you for coming. But my dear friend here would like to carry on the discussion. Yes, thank you, Ali. Ali, we'll be, I'll be back Sorry, next week. No, 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 stay safe. We'll we'll no, 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 I mean, I've got, we'll, we'll be, be back. We'll be back. Ali, we'll be um, continuing. Okay. Uh, can you guys, can you Ali, Yes, 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 sure. No, both of you, So you talked about no, here, here. moral arguments. Yes. Yes. Moral I, yeah. arguments. Yeah. So are you saying the human beings I must, were I must not misunderstood. created or yeah. not mean in this universe? Yeah. The existence of human beings or not would be a moral question? So it's moral. So moral. Morality can exist outside the existence of... No, my argument...